Tonight, new questions about a police shooting in Kansas City, Missouri. We are now hearing from the suspect's pregnant girlfriend. She says the violence at East 15th Terrace and Fremont all could have been avoided. KBC Tonight's Keisha Henry is live with the family's growing concerns. Keisha. Lynn, we spoke with several neighbors, friends, and family, and they're all saying the same thing. He has a troubled past, but they say he wasn't carrying a weapon, just a cell phone in his hand when it happened. Yeah, we were sitting at home, and uh, he seen a police officer pull out front, and he went to go out the back door, and as soon as he stepped out the back door, we all heard a gunshot. Catherine Burris says an officer shot her boyfriend and father of her unborn child in the face. They had him face down. In the ground with handcuffs on and their knee in his back. I seen puddles of blood, so I kept screaming, Is he okay? Where is he shot at? And the officers went to roll him over just for a second, and I seen the hole in his face, and they rolled him right back over onto his face after they shot him in his face. Police say it started as a warrant check when he started running. Friends and family are here saying that uh, he didn't have anything in his hands, no weapon. At this time, the investigation is ever evolving. I cannot confirm that. Police also won't say what caused the officer to fire his gun. Was he facing the police whenever the shooting happened, or was he running away? Uh, the subject was fleeing at the time. The cops that pulled out front had tasers in their hand. Why the one officer out back shoot him? Friends, family, and neighbors say he has a troubled past and he's a runner, but they say he isn't violent. When he went out that back door, he didn't have nothing in his hand except for his cell phone. Now, friends and family say the bullet went in one cheek and out the other, shattering his bottom jawbone. At last check, he was in the hospital getting reconstructive surgery. Reporting live in East Kansas City, Keisha Henry, KNBC 9 News. Now, that officer is on administrative leave as police continue to investigate this incident.